Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. How are you? I'm good fine. Evening. You're very fine? It's nice. Yeah. Hey, welcome. We have David Moises. We have Diana. We have Sulma. Welcome. We have Maria Padilla. We have Betsaida, right? Welcome. Fatima, welcome. Brenda Carolina, welcome. And we have Pablo Alejandro. Welcome, guys. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your teacher in this free intermediate level module two. Welcome to your name to your new session. How are you tonight? Welcome, Wilfredo. Welcome to your session. How are yeah. you guys? Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How is everybody? Julia, welcome. We have Sandy Rosario. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for attending the class. How is every everyone in your home? Is it raining? No, it's not raining. It's not raining by the moment? No, 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 no. It's okay. just a little bit, but yes. it's not, not raining. Yeah, no, no, that no. is what happens, right? That makes I thought it right would now. be like more... Yeah, it would be like Small? heavier, right? Like heavy? Yeah. Heavy yeah, rain? But, but it's not. Yeah. It's not, right? Maybe later. Maybe later. I think tomorrow they... will be... In the morning, different. right? Yeah. yeah. That's true. But, well, let's see what happens right later. Okay. That is good. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. It's a pleasure to have you here, to be here, your teacher. We're going to begin. Right, as I mentioned before, my name is Sandra Alex, and we are going to begin. Just to remember there, right? Remember that we have also our homework, we have evaluations also, and the ones we are going to check that, right? For example, the 80% in the homework, in the activities that we have, the evaluations is necessary to have the 80 percent right to approve and to finish this course right and also remember that it's also possible uh, that you can advance in the platform it's not necessarily that you have to like a, a stop there you can continue as much as you can now let's move on the next one also, let's remember about the attendance, right? To be like, like tonight, right? You're being very responsible. Thank you for that, for attending your session. Every session is very important to have it, right? And then let's verify more something here. It's always necessary to have the 80%, the 80% of this, of your attendance. Also work on the platform that is always necessary, very important. We begin today on the 30th of October. We begin on the 30th and we have destinated, we have the plan to finish on November the 23th. Remember about the camera that is necessary to have it activated. The class that it has a duration of 60 minutes. Well, put more emphasis on the platform, right? So in that way you can get your diploma. Now let's see on the other case that we have here. And about the other rules that are also necessary to develop the class. To have the button of silent during the explanation of the class. If, well, the camera activated, right? And also if you have an opinion or if you have a question, then you can raise your hand, right, on the camera. And let's start then. On the module two. On our module two, well, we have, as I mentioned before, the execution dates from October 30 to November 23rd. We always have this distribution in the week one, section one, and section two. And sometimes it's possible that we can 
leave some part of the material on the next week, right? Week two, we have section three and the midterm. On the week three, we have section four. And on the week four, section five. And also the final exam. So, so we have the topics. We have five sections in this module. And we are going to begin, of course, first, section one. And the name is, how often do you exercise? Do you have any question about this, guys? Questions so far? No, teacher. No questions? Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go ahead on the next. The next slideshow. Erase this. All right. As I mentioned before, in the first one, our section one, the name of this is How Often Do You Exercise? Do you frequently exercise? Do you do it every day? Do you usually do it? How often do you do it? Wilfredo? Yes. What about Three you? Times. Three times a week. Three times a week you do it? All right. Yes. That's good. It's very necessary, right? That's good. <laughs> Sulma, what about you? How often do you do it? I, I played soccer. You play soccer. Okay, that's nice. So that's another manner, right? Uh -huh. You can have fun, right? It's entertaining. And at the same time, you can also do Sometimes. exercise. Yeah, sometimes you do it. Okay, yeah. nice. Now let's check. What is the objective? The objective number one of this lesson. It is that in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. As we know, there are different activities that we can develop. Many things that we can do. Maybe just to do exercise. Maybe just right. To have fun, only that, all it depends, right? So let's have here and let's remember about our frequency. What are the frequency? Just an introduction that we can have here of the adverbs and expressions of frequency. We have here always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. As how we distribute this frequency. As we know, this one is like the manner how we can repeat certain activity. Uh, in the case of always, it represents 100%. Usually, a 90%. Often, that is the same as frequently, 70%. Sometimes, you know, some occasions, that's the 50%. Hardly ever... The 10%, we don't do it very much. And never, we know, it represents the 0% of this. And now, we also have the frequency expressions, but these ones are more specific. As we check here, we just say always, okay, but uh, what is the quantity of occasions, right? You do it. But frequent, uh, frequency expressions are very specific. If you say every day, it means, okay, it was yesterday, today, the next day, and the next day you continue, right? So you don't stop. Every week, every month, every year, once a month, it can be twice a month, three times a month, four times a month, and other cases too, right? But you repeat that activity. Now, what activities can we observe here? All right, for example, this one, what action is it representing? Cycling. Aha, uh -huh, cycling, aha, uh -huh, or ride a bike, very good. What about number two? Swimming. Swimming, very good. Represent swimming, very good. Or that you swim, you go swimming, very good. Brenda, what about number three? Picture number three. What do you think? Shop. It looks like she's in the supermarket, right? Uh huh. Shopping in the supermarket. Or, ah, very good. Shopping in the supermarket or go shopping. Uh huh. That's right. Good one. 
What about number four, William? What does number four represent? What action do you think? William? I think that is a party, I don't know. Uh... Probably a party. But look, there are many people in the place like cheering. Hey, we won. They look like in a stadium, right? Yeah. Because everybody's sitting. All right, good. Well, number, number five, baby, baby Moises. Picture number um, five. Writing. I'm sorry? Uh, writing. Writing, very good. Probably she's writing, right? All right, very good, nice. Andrea. Andrea de Los Angeles, are you present? Yes? Yes. Okay, A party. number six. A party, okay, what action? Go to? Uh, to the, I don't yeah. know, go to the disco. <laughs> oh, very good, that's nice. It can be maybe go to the disco, or go to a party, uh -huh. go to a dance. All right, thank you. That's all right. Claudia, what do you think about number seven? What action is that? Hello? Betsaida? What do you think? Walking? Ah, okay, probably is walking. That's right. Very good job. Nice. Fatima, what about number eight? Movies? I look uh -huh. watch movie. Watch movies. All right. That's good. Go to watch a movie or go to the movie theater. Excellent. That's good. So as we know, these activities, they have probably a certain frequency in the one that you can practice this activity, do these activities. All it depends, right? Also on the time that we have to do them. Now, let's check here. We're going to do a video about this routine. We got our first video here. And this one is about, I hardly ever exercise. We are going to watch it and then we are going to practice it. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond how often you do your activity. Hello, we are now in section six. Everything okay with the video? Yeah. Yes, yeah. okay, yes. perfect. Okay, yes, yes. great, and you thank exercise? you. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond to how often you do a particular activity. All right, let's check here. Now that we watched the video, we are going to check here some of the vocabulary. Do you have some question with vocabulary that you observed in the video? Not the chair. No? Okay, let's practice no. it then. Yeah. We're going to read it and then we practice together. We're going to read it from here. Let's begin from here. Yes. Okay. It says, it's a conversation between Marie and Paul. It says, you're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously. Sure. And then I go and then I often go in line skating. 
wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, now let's practice it. Now let's see. Let's begin with Fatima. Fatima Larissa, you're the first one. Read the first line, please. Okay. Yes. You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise? Oh. Oh. Good. Do you exercise a lot? Exercise. Exercise. Very good. Thank you. Continue. Betsaida, please. Well. Well, I almost always get up early and I live, wait for an hour. Very good job. Thank you. William, continue, please. Okay. You're with that seagull? Seriously. This one. Serious. Seriously? Seriously? Very good. Thank you. Maria. Maria Padilla, please. Sure. The microphone, please, Maria. Can you activate it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Sure. And then I opting go in life. Skating. 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 Very good. Thank you, Maria. Good one. Pablo, continue, please. Well, how often do you exercise? Perdón, how often do you exercise like that? Very good job. Thank you. That's nice. Continue, Wilfredo, please. About five times a week. What about you? Great. Thank you. Continue. Uh, Julia, very good reader. Oh. oh, I, oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach potato. Really good job. Nice. Questions? I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what is coach potato? Coach potato is an, like an idiomatic expression that means lazy. You um, remember this one like an adjective? Lazy. Yeah. So if you say, I'm a real uh, coach potato, it's an idiomatic expression. Lazy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are very welcome. Any other question? Teacher, is the same patinar. I'm sorry? Uh, skating. Oh, it's the same patinar. Exactly. Patinar. But in a line. If you observe here, they it says like in line skating. So skating in generally is patinar, right? But we have a specific forms. It's like this. It's when you are going to use the roller skating, but in this manner. So they skate, but in line. So it's a special form of skating. They skate, but in a line. So it's more delicate, right? Because they, they need to follow a line. Not to go to the right, not to go to the left. They have to follow uh, the other the other guys that are skating too. Any other one? Yes, Wilfredo, tell me. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Si puede repetir la explicación de esa expresión donde dice, I guess, I am, I am a real coach potato. Sure, yes. Sí. When you say coach potato, it means lazy. It's lazy. That's the meaning of that. The rest is like this, right? I'm a real. It's like, seriously, I am lazy. <laughs> or for sure, I am lazy. Or of course, I'm lazy. If you notice here, is the woman the one is saying that, oh, I hardly ever exercise. So that means that and approximately never, probably zero times, she uh, does not exercise very much. So that she watches TV. She does not do exercise very much. 
That's why he says, I guess I'm a real coach potato. I'm really lazy. Any other question? So coach, coach potato is a modal verb. Not a modal verb. It's an idiomatic expression. Modal verbs are the ones that are like can, should, could, might. Okay. Uh -huh. But coach potato is an idiomatic expression. Any other question? And the meaning is mm -hmm. uh, lazy. The meaning is lazy. Okay. Because she's saying that she just watches TV in her free time. So she doesn't exercise very much. So that's why she considers herself as a real coach potato, like lazy. Question, guys? Any other question? New vocabulary? I want to know what is the meaning of hardly. Hardly. Hardly, in this case, this one it means like in a difficult manner, you do something. If you say hardly ever, that means like almost nothing. So you don't do uh, that activity very much. And like this a, when something is a lot of difficult for, for someone. Uh, it depends. Because if you say hardly ever, it's referring to the frequency. 10%. Oh, okay, okay. Like okay. this, like 10% that you repeat that activity. In this case, you don't do the activity very much. But if you say, eh, eliminate the ever. If you say, I hardly, I hardly slept last night or I hardly sleep, it means that I don't sleep very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, Thank like you, Cassie, teacher. Cassie Excuse me, I was, right. I was late to the class. Um, uh -huh. I don't know what is your name. Oh, my name is Sandra Alas. Okay, nice thank to you, meet you boys. Thank you. Thank you, William. Thank nice you for the you question. Too. Nice to meet you. Thank you for that question because they have different context. When you say the phrase is hardly ever is a frequency. It's referring to a frequency form. But if you say, eh, I hardly... I hardly sleep. That means casi no duermo. I hardly but sleep. You have to use hardly or you have to use hardly ever? When you say I hardly sleep or I hardly do an action, so before the verb, it means like almost nothing of that, that you do it. Okay. Uh, also, when you, if you say I hardly and drink water. I hardly drink water. The guys hardly walk. Also, that it means that they almost nothing do the thing. But hardly ever is like the frequency. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the different context, right? The one that they have. All right. Now that we practice this conversation. Now let's go ahead here, like to remember those about the frequency Hello. words. Our objective two it says by the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. So to put emphasis and refresh your minds about it, I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. So hardly ever like a 10%, right? It means that the majority of the times I do not eat breakfast. Never, completely zero times. And also we have some questions we are going to ask, right? But what is the formula that we have? We have a subject, adverb of frequency. We have a verb, depending on the subject, right? We conjugate. And then we have a compliment, like the delicious pupusas here, right? It's about the breakfast normally that we can have. Let's have some examples. It says, how often do you run? Investigate about the, in what manner do you repeat that activity? With what frequency do you repeat that action? And you can respond with different manners. For example, I sometimes run. 
How often do you play basketball? I hardly ever play basketball. How often do you go to the gym? I always go to the gym. So we know that always is like a 100%, right? That you repeat that activity. Now, let's check here. We are going to read them. Wendy, Wendy Beatriz. Hi, Wendy. Can you please read the first one? The question. Sorry, teacher. Can you please read this one? The question, how often? Okay. How often do you run? Very good. Thank you. Evet. Evet. Yaciel, right? Evet Yaciel. Hello? Evet, are you present? No? Eric. Hey, Eric. Welcome. Hi. Good hey, evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Eric. Can you please read the answer? I sometimes run. I sometimes run. Very good job. Thank you. That's good. Daisy, continue with the next question, please. How often? How often do you go to the gym? The next one, please. This one. The second one. Uh, how often? I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. How often, how often do you play basketball? Really good. Thank you. Brenda, the answer, please. I hardly ever play basketball. Really good. Thank you. Julia, continue. How often do you go to the gym? Really good. Thank you. Fatima Larissa. Fatima? Sorry. That's okay. I always go to the gym. I always? I always go to the gym. To the gym. Very good. Thank you. That's nice. Okay. There were just introductory examples that we have. Wilfredo, do you have a question? Uh, not the chair. I'm sorry. No? Ah, okay. Sorry that you saw the hands. A veces se queda como congelada la manita. <laughs> okay. Let's continue then. We are going to watch another video. This one is about adverbs of frequency. Let's see then the next. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity?
All right. Now that we watch it, let's remember again. Now about our adverbs of frequency. Let's remember about the position that they have. It says, how often do you exercise? Look at that in the answer here. We have a subject, then we have a verb, then we have a complement. But in the complement is included the frequency expression. In this case, they are frequency expressions because they are very specific phrases to express and how we repeat that activity. Now we're going to repeat them. Let's begin, Roberto Carlos. Hi, Roberto Carlos, are you there? <clears throat> Andrea, Andrea de Los Angeles? Sí. Yes, okay. Um, I repeat the question and then you say the answer, all right? It says, how often okay. do you exercise? Answer, the first answer. I lift weights every day. Thank you, that's good. Thank you so much. Jennifer Sarai. The second option. I go jogging. Jogging. jogging one, uh, once. Once the word a word. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Very good job. Once a week, it means one occasion in the week. Very good. Nice one. Thank you. Daniela Beatriz. I play. I play soccer twice a month. Really good. Twice a month means two occasions in the month. Great. Thank you. Diana. Diana. Jenny, let's rest. I swim yes. about three times a year. Really good. Thank you. Sandy Roxana. <clears throat> I don't exercise very often much. Uh -huh, that's good. It can have like two options, right? I don't exercise very often or I don't exercise very much. Very good. Thank you, Sandy. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's continue with Marvin. Now, I have the other question. This one is, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Well, in this case, if you notice, it has a yes, no question. You begin with the auxiliary. Do you ever investigate if in some occasion of your life, you do this activity. It's like alguna vez, that is ever, right? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Marvin, can you please yes. answer? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. Really good, thank you so much, good one. German. Herman, are you present? Herman Ulises, no. Sulma? I'm here. Yes. Can you read the second one, please? I sometimes. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Really good. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Sometimes. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. Before bed. That's cool. Thank you. Raquel. The next option. I hardly ever watch TV. Really good. Thank you. William Fuentes. The next one. The negative. No, no, I never Can you please repeat it? No. No, I never watch TV. Really good. Thanks. So you see, there are different options. All it depends on every person's routine. How do you practice this certain activity? Now it puts emphasis on the frequency word or frequency adverb sometimes that can begin in a sentence. So that you can use sometimes in different positions. So that's according to the English grammar that gives that flexibility. We're going to see more examples about it. As remember here, depending on the frequency, if it's frequency words, we use it after the subject. If it's the frequency expressions, there are two possibilities you can use at the beginning or at the end. But let's check these examples. How often do you go to a dance? Let's see the answer. Uh, Daisy, Daisy Stefania, can you please read the answer? I go. I go to dance every week. Every week, excellent, that's correct. Thank you, let's continue next one. Eric, can you read the question? This question, how often? 
how often do you make a report for your boss? Your boss. Uy, this one was one letter missing. Your boss. Thank you. That's good. Maria Padilla, the answer, please. I work. I make. I make. I work. Make. I make. make. I make work. A report. Every day. A report. I make a report. I, I make a report. Uh huh. For. For. My boss. My boss every day. Once a month. Once a month. Is this one? This answer. Uh, yes. Once a month. Once a month. A month. Very good. That means one occasion in the month. Thank you. That's good. Okay. So observe here that is with how often. That is with a specific interrogation that we have. But also there is the other possibility when you have a yes, no question. So you investigate if this information is affirmative or is negative. Let's see with the first one. Raquel, can you read the question, please? Do you ever? Do you ever eat pupusas for breakfast? Nice one. Right. Thank you. Freddy Ernesto, the answer, please. Yes, I usually do. Very good. That's nice. Continue. Let's see with the other question. Fatima, please. And the other possibility of answer. Sometimes. Sometimes I do. I do? Yeah, I, I do. do. Good. Yes. yes. I sometimes do. Very good. Thank you. For a affir uh, affirmative form, that's some of the options. But let's see for a negative. Wilfredo, can you read the negative? No. No, I never do. That's great. Thank you. Now, if you observe here, this one is just affirmative or the negative manner. Do you ever eat pupusas for breakfast? Yes, I usually do. Now, this frequency word is optional because perfectly you could say, yes, I do. And that's it. It's like a simple answer. But if you want to put like emphasis on the specific frequency that you eat pupusas for breakfast, then you can include the specific frequency word. Now, if it's some occasions, then it will be sometimes. Sometimes I do. Or yes, I sometimes I do. Look at that here. We have uh, the auxiliary. The auxiliary, you use it in order to eliminate the repetition so that it's not necessary to say, for example, do you ever eat pupusas for breakfast? Yes, I usually eat pupusas for breakfast. That is not necessary, right, to include old all the complement, right? Eliminate repetition. So, eliminate repetition, but using the auxiliary. That auxiliary, as a simple present, right? Remember, we are here with simple present. You use the auxiliary depending on the time and depending on the subject that you have. As here, the subject is I, then I use do. But let's see here in the case of a third person. Remember in the third person of simple present, now my auxiliary changes, you modify it. Now you don't use do, but you use does. In the case of this, let's read it. Betsaida, read this question, please. Does. Does you own ever ice skate? Ice skate? Ice skate? Great. Ice skate. Thank you, that's good. Now, aunt is the subject is he or she? She. Is she. Is she, right? Exactly. That's correct. As it's a third person singular, then it's necessary that my auxiliary has to be thus. Let's suppose that this one is negative. Daisy, can you give the answer, please? No. No, she never does. Excellent. So we're talking about she, right? As my subject is she, then if you want to use an auxiliary, you need to use does, not do, right? Remember that we do, we use different subjects like I, you, we, they, but third person, singular, he, she, and it. This one is in the case of a short answer. 
But if you want to give complete answer, it will have to be, uh, no, my aunt or she, you can also say, right? No, she never ice skates, including the action too. But it's not necessary because it's implicit. You already mentioned the action or the verb in the question. Now let's see the other answer type that we have. William, William Fuentes, can you please read the last one, please? She. What do you, the, uh, she the hardly one. ever does. Exactly, uh -huh. she hardly ever does, correct. So that means that she almost never do that, right? Rarely, seldom practices at that percent. Oh, her free time, probably, or her life, she can practice this activity. She does it. She practices it, but not very much. Approximately zero, right? Almost like that. Do you have questions about this? We're going to see more examples. This one is just like introductory information that we have. We are going to pass the list, guys. I'm going to mention your name and please let me know that you are present. So let's check here, list. I'm going to begin with Claudia. Claudia Carolina? Claudia, are you present? No? Raquel Esther? Yes. yes. Claudia. Present. Claudia. Claudia, present. Okay, thank you, thank you, Claudia. Very good, thank you. Raquel, Raquel Esther? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Marvin, Marvin I'm Vitalicio? Here. Thank I'm you here. so much, thank you. Andrea de Los Angeles? I'm here. Thank you so much. Brenda Carolina? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Daisy Estefania? I'm here. Thank you. Diana Jamilet? Present teacher. Yeah, Diana is Jing Millet, Jamie, Jamie Millet, right? Or Jamilet? Jamilet. Pero Jam se diferente. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, right? That's why I said, okay, what's the, the form? <laughs> Jang Millet, right? Jang Millet. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Fatima Larisa? I'm here, miss. Thank you, Fatima. Julia Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy Present Adamaris. Present. Wendy Adamaris. No? Present. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much. Present. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> William Alexander. I am present. Thank you, William. Maria Maria Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Wilfredo Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Zulma Natividad. I'm here. Thank you very much. Eh, Sandy Roxana. Present. Yes. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Jennifer Sarai. Present. Thank you, Jennifer. Freddy Ernesto. Present. Thank you so much. Betsaida Jasmine. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Estela Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you. David Moises. Present, teacher. Thank you, David. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you very much. Eved Yaciel. Eved? No. Eved. Ah, okay. Thank you, Eved. Thank you. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Eric Ronaldo. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Selena Jamilet. 
Selena Jamilet? No? All right. Somebody that I didn't mention? Did I mention everybody? Yes? All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Let's continue then with our lesson. All right. So we were here, right? In the questions with do you ever. Now let's move to the other part that we have prepared for with to emphasize on the order that we have that of the frequency words. What's the position that we have? Let's remember we have a subject, frequency words, then we have the verb and the complement. As we have here, let's repeat here. We have, he never plays baseball. Besaida, read the first one, please. He never plays baseball. Excellent. That means zero times. Very good. Claudia, Claudia Carolina, continue. The next one, please. Go always go, go for a run. A run. Go for a run. Very good. So we have this case, right? Oh, she goes for a run. That's nice. Great. Thank you. Continue, Maria Padilla. You. The microphone. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you hardly ever swim. Swim. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. That's good. So hardly ever swim. So we have these actions. Look at the position, right? Subject, frequency words, and then we have the verb and the complement. So now let's check about sometimes because in sometimes you can use also the same position, but also you can change it. Examples that we can have. Let's see the first one. Wilfredo, can you please read the first example? I sometimes go to a dance class. To a dance class. Very good. Thanks. This was like the normal position of the frequency <laughs> word. In what position we're using it? After the subject. So before the verb, right? So let's check what is the other one that we got. Uh, David Moises. The second example, please. Sometimes uh -huh. I go to a dance class. Very good job. Thanks. In this form, the frequency word, you're using it at the beginning of the sentence. Immediately after the frequency word, you have the subject and then the verb. So that's another case that we can use. Thank you. Eved, continue, please. Eved, are you there? Yes. Okay. Yes. I go. I go. This one, please. Can you repeat it, please? It's raining, right? It's raining around your house. Yeah, I could listen. It was raining. Have a question. Tell me. Tell me, Salman. Can I use the saints? Which one? Puedo usar las dos frecuencias de tiempo de la misma forma, o sea, al principio y al fin. You can use sometimes. You can use sometimes in three positions, three forms. Look at that here. You are using in the first example. You have subject sometimes. In the other case, you have sometimes subject. And in the third example, you have sometimes, but in the end of the sentence. So the three forms okay. are okay to use it. There's no okay. problem. But with the rest, with the rest of the frequency adverbs, it's necessary to use after the, the subject. I usually, I sometimes, I never, I hardly ever. But in the case of sometimes, you can change the position. There are three manners to use. So let's read this, the next ones. We have other examples here. Let's see, um, Diane, Diane Jamilet. Uh -huh. 
Can you please read the first example? Jenny sometimes. Okay. Jenny sometimes plays basketball. Excellent. That is good. What is the frequency word? Sometimes, right? Yeah, great. Now, in this case, we're using sometimes immediately after the subject. So, my subject is Jenny. But we have another possibility, which is okay. But Saida, can you please read it? Sometimes. Sometimes Jenny plays basketball. Excellent. That's good. Now, in this case, sometimes is at the beginning of the sentence. So, immediately after sometimes, you used the subject. After the subject, you use the verb. Now, we need the S, right? Why do we use the S? Why do we have plays? And not play. Because it's third person. It's third person singular, right? And it's simple present. That's all right. Thank you. Can you continue, Julia, please? The third example, Jenny. Jenny plays basketball sometimes. Excellent. That's good. Now, in this case, we're using sometimes at the end of the sentence. So it has three different positions. But that's in the case of the frequency adverb sometimes, which is a special frequency verb or a frequency adverb that we have, right? Questions about this? No. No, okay. no teacher. No. No questions? Wilfredo has a question. He says, uh, only with sometimes. Basically, yes, just with sometimes. In some of the occasions, you can also use usually. Usually, there are some occasions that you can use it too. Like, usually, I go to the gym. I Usually, I, um, I go to the supermarket. Or I go to the supermarket, usually. But it's not very frequent to use it. It's more common to use with sometimes. So let's have the practice here. Let's ask, depending on this activity that we have, how often do you exercise? In the case of Andrea de Los Angeles. Um, three times a week. Okay, that's good. So give me a, a like a complete, complete answer, please. I exercise. Uh, I, I, I exercise three uh -huh. times a week. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's see. Wendy, Wendy Beatrice, tell us how often do you ride a bike? How often do you ride a bike? I ride a bike hardly ever, teacher. All right. Look, in the case of hardly ever, it has this position. Me to say the subject. I hardly ever ride a bike. Uh, I hardly ever ride a bike. Excellent. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Now let's go ahead with Freddy. Freddy, how often do you go to the stadium? I go to the stadium sometimes. I sometimes go to the stadium or... I go to the stadium sometimes. Very good job. Nice. You're using the position at the end. Really nice. Good. Okay. Now you are going to ask questions each other. Let's see. Daisy, you ask the question, how often do you and use this of the activities? You are going to ask Fatima. Select a picture, one action and answer. How often do you? Uh, Fatima, how often do you read a book? Mm, excellent. Do you read a book? That's cool. I, I read a book. No, I usually read a book. Okay, that's nice. I usually read a book. Very nice job. That's good. Julia, now you ask a question to William Fuentes. Uh, William, how often do you go to the movies? Mm, nice. <clears throat> I hardly ever go to the theaters. To the movie theater. 
Movie theater. Okay, movie theater. Really good job. Nice. Thank you. Sulma, you formulate the question to Wendy Beatriz. How often do you activate the microphone, Sulma, please? Thank you. How often do you practice English? Hey, that's good. You practice English. Cool. So I sometimes uh -huh. practice English. Practice English. Really good. Nice. Okay, now let's see. Formulate another question. David, you are going to ask Raquel Esther. David Moises, formulate question to Raquel Esther. <clears throat> David, Moises, are you ready? Okay, Eric, Eric Ronaldo, formulate the question to Raquel. Raquel Esther. How often do you eat pizza? Nice. Raquel? I sometimes eat pizza. Pizza, very good job. Thank you, guys, that's good. Okay, now let's see. Brenda Carolina, you're going to ask Marvin Lopez. Hi, Marvin. How often do you play soccer? Great. I hardly ever play soccer. Really good job. That's nice. Excellent. Okay, nice. Now, we can also practice about the frequency expressions. Because here we have used like a sometimes, never, always, right? But we can also use the ones that are at the end, like every day, every week, every month, every year. So let's try to ask those. So let's ask with how often. William Fuentes, you ask Fatima Larisa. Fatima, try to answer with that frequency expression, a specific. Uh, it doesn't matter the question. You can use different action. Use different action. But you say, how often? How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you okay. go to the stadium? How often do you? How often do you go to a concert? Nice. I ever a concert? I, I go to a concert? I go a concert. I go Never. to a concert. Look, now, as we practice here, these ones, that they are like a very basic ones, but we don't have a specific. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to practice frequency expressions. They are specific, like every day, um, once a week, every week. So I go to a concert every week, every month, once a year. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I every day I'm every a, day at the end every day at the end okay. mm -hmm. I go to every day I got to a concert yes uh -huh. no I go to a concert every day uh, I go to a concert every day that's good so as in the frequency expression thank you at the end thank you so they have different positions just that the frequency expression, you can also use it at the uh, beginning. For example, here, how often do you go to a dance? Every week, I go to a dance. Or I go to a dance every week. But it's more common to see it at the end. Es más común utilizar frequency expression al final de la oración o de una respuesta, right? Like every day. All right? Now, let's see. Wendy, you formulate the question to Eric uh, Ronaldo. Wendy to Eric. Wendy Beatriz. How often do you ride a bike? Do you ride a bike? Excellent. That's good. Eric. I sometimes ride a bike. Okay. That's good. Now let's practice with the frequency expression. Every week, once a week. Twice a week. Um, once a week, ride a bike. At the end, remember, you can use frequency expression at the very beginning or at the end. Nunca después del sujeto. En el caso de frequency expression, pueden ir exactamente al inicio con la frase o al final de la oración. 
Yes. Can you repeat it, please? Yes. How often do you ride a bike? Once a week, ride a bike. Once a week, I ride. I ride. Once a week, I ride a bike. I ride a bike. Very good. That is nice. Very good. Okay, now let's see. Sulma. Sulma Ventran. Are you present, Sulma? Yes. Okay, you formulate, okay. formulate the question to Roberto Carlos. How often? How often do you watch a movie? Nice. Roberto Carlos, are you present? No. Jennifer? Jennifer Saray? Present. Yes. yes. Answer the uh -huh. question, please. How often do you watch a movie? Um. How do you watch? I watch um, a movie. I watch a movie. Uh -huh. Every day, um, every week, twice a month. Romantic. Sorry. Romantic. Once a month. Is it once a month? Yes. Once a month, that means one occasion in the month. Jennifer, that is the answer? Uh, yes. Yes. Can you repeat it, please, Jennifer? I watch. I, I, watch. I watch a movie. A movie? Once a month. Once a month. That's right. Thank you, Jennifer. That's good. Okay. So, sir, that here, frequency adverbs and frequency expressions, they have different positions, right, to answer. Yes, Roberto? Ah, sure. problems with the audio. Yes, tell me, Andrea. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Andrea. So just to clarify, uh, we will use always, usually, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never, uh, after the su subject. Normally, exactly. The one okay. that you can change the position is sometimes. Yes, sometimes, that we can use uh -huh. the three time after the, the subject before the, three and the end of the sentence. At the end of the sentence, exactly. Okay. Sometimes and... you can see usually in some occasions. Okay. It's not very common, but usually you can use it also at the beginning and after the subject. Mm, okay. And uh, the right part. Yes, I think there is the right part. Every day, week, month, year, once or twice, and that and that uh, frequency expressions, expressions. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use at the beginning of the mm -hmm. sentences exactly. and the end of the sentence, right? That is correct, correct. Okay. Never, never after the subject. For example, here it will mm -hmm. be incorrect to say, I every day go to a dance mm -hmm. or I'm... I make once a month or I once a month make a report that we mm -hmm. understand it, right? We understand it, but mm -hmm. grammatically is not the correct position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Any other question? No questions? All right, guys, then we are going to continue tomorrow. Remember that to advance right in the platform, you can start working on the exercise. Please, you can advance on it, on the exercises that we have. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful okay. night. Sweet dreams. Thank I'll you, see teacher. You tomorrow, right? Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, night. You Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful Good night. Teacher. Bye -bye. Take care, sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow night. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye. Good night.